Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of St Albans Take to the Skies. We're back once again in the Vanarama National League South. We're back for the game against Hemel Hempstead. I've definitely not played the Champions for one by accident. Who would do that? So we're playing Slough as well today. Let's go and have a look at how our form has been between episodes. So since you were last with us, where we had the two wins against Dulwich Hamlet and Eastbourne, we then beat Maidstone 3-1 in quite a comfortable victory. We then had a 1-1 draw with Bath, which was probably the fair result. It was quite an even game. We lost 2-1 to Ebsfleet, who are still top of the league. A little bit unlucky, I would say, in that game. Of course, we started the season with a 3-1 loss. It was only 2-1 this time, but we were a lot more solid in that game, apart from that, those two lapses in defence. We've then lost 2-0 to, to Dartford, which felt like a little bit of rebound from the Ebbs Fleet game but then we've bounced back with a comfortable win against Chelmsford winning 4-1 with two goals from Rush and two goals from Wiltshire so we're back today we're going to play our rivals Hemel Hempstead and Slough and at the moment we're still sat third in the table the loss to Dartford in fairness I didn't realise until literally now Dartford are sec first in the table so maybe similar to Ebbs Fleet they're just a very good team in this division. Out of interest, has our season preview moved us up? We've moved up to 15th. They don't like us, do they? But we are doing well in the league. I don't think we're one of the top goal scorers. No, we've only got 39 goals to our name. Although, look at Bath. 18 goals and they're managing to be 6th. Fair play. That's... That's ridiculous. So we're going to go and get straight into the game today against Hemel Hempstead. Let's see how we get on there. So line up for today, we've got Davis in goal. A back four of Harper, Clark, Mensa, and Sanders. Midfield, we've got Wiltshire, Kalos, Noble and Myring on the left. And then we've got Scott and Rush up front today. A good opportunity for us to uh, get some goals in this game, I think. We're yeah, playing a bit of a shorter passing game. Hemel Hempstead, they're currently way down in 19th. I mean, that's if, if they do draw today. So they're struggling. They've recently sat their manager. And, yeah, it can't be nice for them to be seeing their rivals in the position that we're in. So they're going to be well up for it and trying to come at us under their new manager. Hopefully we can control that and just make sure that, that they don't cause us too many tr problems. Early on, the ball is lumped clear to Rush, but he doesn't manage to bring it under control. Mensa then goes long. I mean, I've got shorter passing on. Do you not understand? Halliday trying to find space on the right. He's forced back to Adebayi. And Carifas finds Halliday. Adebayi looks to the left. Howells is out there. Harper's trying to force him out of play. Davis has come out and cleared it, but it's a poor clearance and very nearly results in a goal. And Clark eventually puts it away for a corner. But a little bit concerning there, the way that they were able to get in behind. Halliday whips it in and it's cleared away by Koloszki, but it's back to Halliday who crosses it in again and Sanders this time at the far post forced to head away and this first half has not been great for us Adebayi, Karufa's Howells exchanging the ball they're not able to find our way through but a poor for first half from us here Davis is looking for Wiltshire on the right hand side who brings it down beautifully plays it through to Scott who leaves it behind and the clearance goes as far as Sanders who looks over the top Scott nicks in behind 
I thought he was going to rush who would have been offside. He leaves it. Scott runs through, makes it 1-0, right on the stroke of half-time. And that is a very important moment there in this game. Because that could just mean in the second half, they've got to come at us a little bit more than they'd want to. And we can exploit that a little bit. We're going to tell them not to go... Uh, go not to guard against complacency. No, guard against complacency. We are going to make a change here. We're going to send Sundiver on there. And he can be a box box midfielder. Because Noble struggling is coming into this game not fully fit. Uh, conditioning wise. And he's not really been able to get going either. So we're just going to start to lower the tempo in this one. And I'm hoping that it'll mean we can control the play a little bit more. We'll drop that defensive line just a little bit. And I think in the second half, maybe it'll just mean we can allow them to come at us a little bit more and try and hit them on the counter-attacks. The ball comes in and Midler O's, I'm going to say that's how you say his name, was unlucky there. Halliday looking for... Ezerman at the far post who hedged just wide and maybe we actually need to push up a bit more and close them down just try and stop them walking all over us at the moment it's really come down to their finishing is why they're not leading at the moment we're going to bring Wiltshire off because he's not being able to get into this game at the moment Knee, knee render coming in for him. Ball towards the far post. Adebayi hits the bar. And we are looking a little bit sketchy at the moment. Davis going long for Scott, who heads down to Nirenda. He play, lays it off to Harper, who sends a terrible ball into the midfield. Clark easily collects the clearance. And then... I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> Mensa does well there, though. Sundar plays it back to Clark, who goes long for Scott, who heads down to Rush, who plays it through for Myring, who has a poor shot. And we're just going to tell them to focus now. We've got 10 minutes to go. We're going to drop down to Cautious, and with five minutes to go, we are going to really try and stick it out. Can is going to go and sit in that defence. And do that so that Mensa can be covering in the middle. And Can can be on the left side of the defence. Scott can go forward and be a pressing forward. And these guys can just sit a bit further back on support. We'll start to time waste. Play for set pieces and just really try and kill the game a little bit. And hopefully that'll just see out these last few minutes. Be a bit uh, defensive and just make sure they can't break us down. We've got a very late free kick. Harper sends it in. And it's over the top of the Nirenda at the far post. Sundaya makes it 2-0 in near enough the 94th minute. We claim a 2-0 win at the very last second. Adding our second to beat our rivals Hemel Hempstead at their home ground. And we've done the double over the only rival in our division. Fantastic result there. It looked a bit sketchy at times, but it doesn't matter. We've seen it through. And there we go. We continue. We get back to winning ways, and we've got Slough coming up next in a big game because they're one point behind us. Let's go and see how we get on. And the lineup for the second game of the day is very similar to the game that played earlier uh, in the first game of the episode, just with Jeffers coming in for Rush up front. That's the only change we've got. 
So we're going to get straight into the game against Slough now. And as I said uh, just before we came into this game, they are one point behind us. They're no longer one point behind us as it stands. That was a bit too easy, wasn't it? We don't want to watch that. 17 seconds to concede. It's Oh, they grind my gears sometimes. We've instantly made it a uphill battle for ourselves. Hopefully we can overcome that. Considering we're on work the ball into the box, we've had five shots and you've not got one on target yet, lads. Come on. Noble with the cross to the far post and Scott is in there to get us back on level terms. And that's goal number 10 for Scott there for the season. Not a bad return. We are quite a low scoring team, not compared to Bath, but we don't score many goals. And I think that could be what causes problems when it comes to the playoffs. It feels like something that we're going to need a bit more in the way of goals to us. I mean, Scott has gone down with an injury, so Rush is going to be coming on for him now. That's not ideal. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. But we won't know until after the game. Walker with the throw. Harper heads away and finds Jeffers, who goes long towards Rush, who's got space to run into. He's got main piling forward to get with him and ends up getting dispossessed. But Clark... Claims the clearance. Koloshi plays it back to Clark and Noble now exchanges the ball with Koloshi. He goes back to Clark, back to Noble, who finds Jeffers. Oh, he plays it back to Noble. Ball through for Jeffers. Oh, and Walker with a fantastic block in there. At one point, I did think maybe Jeffers should have played it to the overlapping. Uh, Wiltshire, but he chose not to. Noble sends it back out to Harper, who crosses towards the far post. Myring heads it back across goal. It's been disallowed. Why is it being disallowed? Oh, okay. So he's offside there. Oh, that's frustrating. Because he's come so far back onside. Why was he offside to begin with? So it is still 1 1 as we get into half time. But other than the goal, it's been all us, really, when you look at the stats. They've only had two shots aside from the goal. We're just not hitting the target enough. And hopefully that will start to change. I think we're going to make a change here. Send Sundar on in midfield. And we're also going to bring Wiltshire off for Nirenda. I'm winging that name a little bit. Davis with the goal kick finds Nirenda, who heads it on. Jeffers has got space on the right, sends it into the box, but Myring is out jumped. And the ball falls to Tomlinson, who's got a break on for here for Slough. And he gets a shot off and very nearly finds that bottom corner. But luckily for us, it does go wide. Let's uh, fire them up. We've got. Just under 15 minutes to try and find a winner here. Sundire not able to beat Hodges to the ball. I'm almost tempted to say we'll take the draw because it would keep us above them in the league. Hodges is attacking here and Sanders is <laughs> costs us here. It's a penalty and all of a sudden we're not going to take a draw. We're going to have to try and earn it. Togwell with the penalty and it's 2-1. Well, that's frustrating because we have been, look at the stats, we're utterly dominant in this game when you consider that penalty accounts for about 0 0.7 of that. We've got a free kick on the edge of the area. Noble stands over it and hits the bar. Noble back on the ball, drills it in. Sundire picks up the ball as it's cleared. Back to Noble. 
Myring finds Jeffers. Goes back to Sundire. Harper now. Plays back to Sundire, who gets a shot off, but it's blocked. And Saunders clears away. And now we're having to go attack him right at the end to try and get a late goal. We've got nothing left to do subs-wise, so that was a waste of time looking at that. And we lose in very frustrating fashion. Because that's one of the games where I probably feel like we deserve the win. A lot of the time I've found, I'm thinking it's probably 50-50. We probably got a bit lucky. This time, I think we deserve the win and we lose. But either way, we're going to go have a look when we can come back. I think we'll come back for Concord and Hungerford. We'll come back for those two games there, see how we're getting on. We end the episode in fourth place. We've still got a 11-point gap to the edge of the playoffs. 13 points to actually being out of the playoffs. So we're in a pretty comfortable position with... What have we got? We're playing 40 games, so we've got 15 games to go in the season. We're in quite a good position. Hopefully we can hold into onto the playoff spots and see what comes of it. I don't think it, we will go up this year. I think it would be too soon as well. If you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Hit subscribe as well if you are enjoying the series. Comment how you think we're going to get on the rest of the season. Let me know what position you think we're going to finish. And thank you very much for watching.